Okay, for our next phase, we're gonna move on to the floor framing. Um, so if you remember, um, as we just finished our mud sills, our layout for this building is eight foot by 12 foot. So here we have an eight by 12 floor. Um, and what we're gonna do for this project is we're gonna act like we have a stair opening in our floor. So obviously we have a three by four hole here. It's a little bit smaller than an actual stairs, um, but just for this um, example, we're gonna do a three by four opening just to show you how to frame uh, an opening in a floor. So we have a few different components here. We have our floor joists here um, underneath um, our floor sheathing, and then our floor sheathing then sits on top, and that's what gives you the nice smooth surface to be able to walk on. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through a few different steps of um, selecting our material, then we're going to lay out our floor. Our floor consists of a joist every 16 inches. Um, and the reason why we do every 16 inches is for two reasons. One, we have um, the load capacity of the floor joists that we're using. Um, this, the floor joists that we're using are rated for um, the weight that can be um, put on it for every 16 inches. If we were spaced more, this floor could fail with the amount of weight that's gonna be put on it. Um, so we're going every 16 inches. And another reason why is um, this floor sheathing that we're using is four by eight, um, and 16 inches will land on a four foot mark and an eight foot mark. So we'll have a floor joist that ends every seam of our um, floor sheathing here. And that'll give really good support um, for the floor joist and give a strong foundation for any flooring that will be laying down. Um, as you can also see, um, we're gonna be laying our floor sheeting uh, basically perpendicular to our floor joists. Um, and again, that just really creates a nice strong floor. So if we laid our floor sheathing going with the floor joists, basically what could happen is um, as our floor deflects along um, our plane here, we can basically come with ripples because we'll have a nice, or a, a bad joint basically a joint along this whole floor, and that would allow for the floor to buckle. Um, if we stagger these um, seams, and or if we put the uh, floor sheathing perpendicular to the floor joist and we stagger the seams, we basically break up those seams, creating a nice um, solid floor. So um, we'll go through the whole process here. We'll start um, by selecting our lumber, and then we're gonna go and lay out our floor plates. So let's get started.